Welcome to A Spot of Poetry, featuring outstanding poetry written by outstanding poets. I'm your host, Joe Pizzo. Let's begin with some background on our featured poet. Today's featured poet was born in 1935 in Maple Heights, a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. Her affinity for writing poetry began at the age of 14. At age 17, she became friends with the family of deceased poet Edna San Vincent Millay. She lived for a time with the family of the deceased poet as she helped the family to sort through the papers of Ms. Millay. Our featured poet attended both Ohio State University and Vassar College, though she never earned a degree. She moved to Provincetown with her partner, and her writing was heavily influenced by the landscape of Cape Cod. Her fifth book, American Primitive, earned a Pulitzer Prize in 1983. She eventually shifted from topics rooted in nature to more personal topics. In fact, her thoughts, feelings, and reflections began to appear more often. Notably, in 1992, her book entitled New and Selected Poems earned her the National Book Award. In fact, the Poetry Foundation mentions that critics compare the skill and impact of this poet to accomplished poets, including Marianne Moore, Elizabeth Bishop, Edna San Vincent Millay, and Walt Whitman. At Bennington College, this poet held the Catherine Osgood Foster Chair for Distinguished Teaching. Having secured fellowships from the Guggenheim Foundation and the National Foundation of the Arts, she was honored with the American Academy of Arts and Letters Award, the Poetry Society of America's Shelley Memorial Prize, and the Alice Faye de Castagnola Award. She wrote 23 books of poetry and six books of prose. Our featured poet is Mary Oliver. Her poem being featured today on a spot of poetry is entitled, The Summer Day. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean, the one who has flung herself out of the grass, the one who is eating sugar out of my hand, who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel down in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Thank you for joining me to share The Summer Day by Mary Oliver. I'm looking forward to the next time when we share more outstanding poetry written by outstanding poets. Once again, for a spot of poetry, I'm your host, Joe Pizzo. May your day be filled with poetry.